Hi everyone, hope you're having a great week and uh, an even better start to a brand new year. Um, you've bound to have seen the reviews, my recent reviews on my Facebook page, Shelley Booth Fitness, uh, and also my Instagram pages on my client success rates. The reviews are incredible. There is more social proof than anyone needs to know that my programmes, 1 million percent, improve health, improve health markers, um, make you move more so you're you're burning more calories without going to the gym uh, and the basic simplistic meal plans are family friendly i want to share with you some tips and tricks on what you can do to improve your health and lifestyle and your mindset to make 2020 the best year you've ever had so my first tip would be to encourage you to try to stop snacking. So if you're eating breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, mid-morning snack, an evening meal, and then perhaps a supper, in my opinion, you're doing it wrong. We're still cavemen and cavewomen. There is no need to be eating five and six times a day. And when you, when you remove snacks, but you eat properly, you don't need the, the regularity of meals. You'll still get your, your um, calorie requirement for the day, but you won't need to rely on eating constantly and being a constant grazer. So that's the first tip. No snacking. So breakfast, no snack. Lunch, no snack. Evening meal. You might say to me, Shelley, how do I manage that? I'm used to eating five and six times a day. What you need to start doing, this is tip two, is eating more fibrous food and more saturated good fats. Now, good fats are found in nuts, uh, in avocados, in animal fats, um, in dairy, grass-fed dairy. So not any type of dairy, but grass-fed. So it comes from a grass-fed animal. Uh, what uh, good saturated fats will do for you is they'll make you fuller for longer. So they'll keep you satiated and you will stop craving for the bad carbohydrates. Now, remember, there are good carbs and bad carbs. On my programme, my clients eat lots of good carbs, but no bad carbs. So when you eat more saturated fat, good fats, no trans fats, uh, and definitely no soybean oil, no canola oil, cottonseed oil, oilseed rape, none of those fats, because they're very, very inflammatory, you will start to feel very, very full and you will not need to eat five and six times a day. Another great tip is to take apple cider vinegar, organic apple cider vinegar with the mother on a daily basis. The acetic acid in the apple cider vinegar helps so many functions in your body, including insulin resistance. So you might well have insulin resistance and you probably do if you've got a lot of belly fat, if you crave bad carbohydrates. And when I say bad carbs, I mean breads, pastas, cereals, waffles, cakes, biscuits, sweeties, pastries. That's the bad carbs I'm talking about. So if you crave that, then you're, you likely will have insulin resistance. So your pancreas produces insulin in response to you eating food. And the more carbohydrate, the food content, the more insulin your pancreas will produce uh, and the higher your blood sugar level will spike. When your blood sugar level spikes too high, it completely kicks you out of fat burning, no matter how hard you train, by the way, or how much you walk, jog or run or swim, it will kick you out of fat burning. So to try and combat the insulin resistance that you have, you need to eat better, eat more good fats, reduce the bad carbohydrate content, and apple cider vinegar will help you. I don't recommend apple cider vinegar for anyone who has gastric gastric issues. So, um, digestive issues that might mean um, I won't recommend apple cider vinegar at this stage if you have gastric issues so if you have for example a stomach ulcer um, so hang back with the apple cider vinegar if there are issues related to um, your stomach otherwise apple cider vinegar is fantastic the acetic acid in it there's no vitamins there is no minerals but the acetic acid is very very good for lots and lots of functions within the body. Once you start to stop the snacking and you feel satiated, you feel fuller for longer, you don't need to snack, you start fixing insulin resistance 
it's a really good idea to introduce intermittent fasting. Now, we're still cavemen and cave women. Okay, we, we've, evolution hasn't changed us that much. So skipping a breakfast, we used to think at one time breakfast was the main meal of the day and we had to have a breakfast before we left the house. I'm here to dispel that myth. It is not the most important meal of the day. It's completely natural and normal to fast. So say a Monday night at eight o'clock, you have your evening meal. It's normal to fast and very beneficial to fast into the next day until sort of 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. So if you put a good 16 hour fast in, um, lots and lots of amazing things will happen. And you'll notice, have you done, say, a, a, a sort of fast over a 16 hour period, two or three times a week, you will notice a huge difference in belly fat. Your belly fat will start to disappear. You're fixing your diet, you're fixing your insulin resistance, your belly fat is starting to go and you're moving more. That comes with mental clarity. It comes with uh, uh, more focused vision for improvement and committing to self-improvement. My, my online course, my clients are immersed in growth mindset um, and visualization and imagery and manifestation and positivity. It all plays a huge part in the bigger picture. But right now, I think if you were able to fast at the same time as these other uh, really useful tips and tricks, I think you would see a massive difference and it would give you great motivation and um, surround yourself with positivity to move you on to the next level. So we have fasting, if possible, no snacking, apple cider vinegar, eat more good fats as opposed to bad fats and cut down on the bad carbs for sure. Uh, and aim for 10,000 steps per day and just generally move more. Getting the basics right and sweating the small things, doing them regularly and being consistent with these, I promise you, will change your health um, and you'll have a much more positive outlook. I hope this helps. If you need to get in touch with me, please do. At shellyboothfitness.co. Speak to you soon.